And you don't need to record this yet. Oh God, you ain't fixing to record this, are you? Oh yeah, we've already talked about <laughs> this. It's a long story. That's fine. <laughs> got what? You've got a lot of memory. Uh, hang on, stop, stop it for a second. Let me get myself ready. I couldn't imagine taking an EMG up that old corduroy road to Alaska. Or sleep underneath those so you can... Yeah, to stay warm, yeah. No, that's crazy shit. What's, what's, what's time for the abandoned ship story? Oh, we're ready. We're ready. <coughs> Take one. Are you recording? Yes. All right, we've talked about... We were talking about EDC today. And I EDC a mini mag light have forever. I like headlamps. We all talk about that and all. The mini mag light, I've referenced this on Facebook a couple of times. They got to asking about it. I used to work offshore, and this is gonna be a long story. It was Halloween on Friday, and we crew changed on Friday. So I was gonna miss Halloween, and I really like Halloween. So I found out our crane operator was going in on Thursday. So I lied for a week and a half so I could go in on Thursday. I said I had a toothache. So I was going to see the safety man, get medicine, putting on it, eating on one side of my mouth for a week and a half, playing this out. So Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I asked the tool pusher, I was like, man, Mike's going in today. You think I could go in with them so I can go to the dentist before they close for the weekend? He said, yeah. So it's supposed to be a 6 a.m. helicopter. It's going to be an 8 a.m. helicopter. 12 a.m. helicopter, one o'clock boat, two o'clock boat. Well, anyways, at midnight, we got put on a boat. So I lied for a week and a half to get put on this boat. So we hook up some equipment, they offload it, we take off heading to shore. So I go down in the bottom and stretch out on a cot and go to sleep because we just worked a 12-hour shift and we waited all day long to get put on this boat. How big was this boat? Ah, a work boat, um, I don't know. 150 feet or something, what they haul the drill pipes and all to the oil rigs on. So anyways, uh, I go down and go to sleep. Uh, at some point in time, I wake up and I, I smell what I think is exhaust fumes. So I get up and I come up on the upper deck and Mike and Leroy were sleeping up there. And I'm looking around, I don't, we're not by land, the boat stopped, we're not by a rig, we're not by land, we're just out in the ocean. What's going on here? About that time, the deck hand comes running through screaming, the engine room's on fire, engine room's on fire. And about that time, the back of the deck starts bubbling, then it collapses and flames go shooting into the sky. So we all run up into the wheelhouse, call out a mayday on the radio and all that, put on our life jackets, get out on the bow of the ship. We throw a life raft. The first one goes straight underneath the ship. The captain starts hollering, jump for the raft. And we used very inappropriate language and told him no. So we grabbed another raft, threw it off on the other side. So I jumped into the raft, Mike jumped into the raft. Well, no, Mike jumped, Leroy jumped, he couldn't swim, so Mike had to get him, get him over into the raft. I jumped, the captain took the radios and threw them out in the ocean over there. Then they had to throw the deck hand off because he was afraid of sharks. <laughs> then the first mate jumped and the captain jumped. There was six of us all together. So, and life raft is kind of a misnomer. On these boats, a life raft is a big rectangular piece of styrofoam with a net in it. So you standing in the net this deep in the water out here in the ocean. So I, I, can, I actually remember most of this night well, but I'm not getting into all the details. But anyway, we floated around out there for about two hours standing about this deep in the salt water. Had an EPIRB, tied with a little short string, it's got a little flashing strobe on it, sends out a radio signal. So we're out there and we see a boat, been out there a couple of hours when we see a boat in the distance. Well, the captain grabbed that EPIRB, snatched it up, hit the end of the string, and snatched out of his hand, the strobe quit working, so he started beating it on the raft. And it never worked again. So about that time, I remembered my mini mag light on my side, which has been down in the ocean for the last two hours. I pull it out, turn it on, start waving it. Boat turns, comes straight to us, pulls us out the ocean. I will always have a mini mag light on my side. Huh. 
and 30 stories. Yeah.